2006 L322 shape Range Rover. This is uh, one of the first facelift cars, so it's got the all-in-one headlights, the new grills, uh, a couple of updates to the interior, and a few other bits and bobs, but it is the last of the TD6s, so it's a three liter diesel. It's a BMW diesel, they're pretty bulletproof. As you can see, it's finished in lovely gloss black with cream interior. Somebody has done a few upgrades on this car. Um, so they've put what you call Range Rover Stormer wheels on it. So like what, what you get on Range Rover Sport. Nice set of um, side steps. It's got chrome handle covers, chrome mirror covers, chrome gills, chrome vent cover on the top, chrome barging. And then to match the wheels, they've gone for a supercharged grille as well. we'll start by having a look at the bodywork. It is worth pointing out this car's been with us for about 10 days now um, and it hasn't dropped down on the suspension. It's not sagged. Uh, it started right up this morning with no flat ba 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 battery when I pulled it in to do the video. Um, so obviously problem area on Range Rovers is, is, is the sus suspension dropping when it's left parked up, but that's not happening. Um, and quite often they can get a drain on the battery, but again, that doesn't seem to be happening at all. Starting on the bodywork, this front driver's wing, you've got a scratch down here. A bit of dirt and a little one under the wing uh, indicator there. The arch itself is nice and tidy. In there, all seems to be nice and clean. Like I say, it's got these Range Rover Sport alloy wheels on it. They're 20 inch wheels, four good tyres on it. A couple of little curb marks here and there. Nothing too major. And going down that driver's door, you've got a little chip on the sort of plastic side moulding on the bottom there. And a couple of marks on the leading edge where it's been open up to something I'm guessing. Wing mirrors are all good. All these pillars are nice. Quite often you find that this this rubber trim here will bubble up and corrode, but actually they're they're really good. The rear driver's door has a scratch just here. Which you can see if I pull the camera out. Another small one just here. Actually, if you look down the side of the car, it is nice and straight. This rear arch does have a tiny little bit of bubbling here. The problem area on these seems to be on the inside of the um the door trim, which obviously, as you can see, it wants, it wants this panel repairing. Um, you can buy them off the shelf now, now, which is nice. And then the bottom of the arch here has the same issue. Really common area on a Range Rover. This this uh, seal on the inside just traps all the moisture, and it just it rots in front like that. Going up this rear corner. No scuffs or marks on that. that all seems to be all good. The upper half of the tailgate can quite often suffer from corrosion on the bottom here, but this is all nice and clean. Bottom half's all good as well. It is a Vogue spec this one, so it's got front and rear heated seats, sat nav, all that sort of stuff, reversing camera, which does work. I've used that this morning. The bumper itself has a couple of little marks, but again, nothing major. Rear parking sensors work. Yeah, I've had them go off this morning. Onto the passenger side. Again, same problem. So we've got a bit down the bottom of the arch here. Comes all the way around on this side, a little bit worse. And then a little bit on the uh, oh, on the on the inner inner arch. So this plate wants repaired again. And like I say, you can buy that panel, um, but it does want repaired. There's a small ding on the top of the rear passenger door, and there's a couple of marks and a scratch on the front passenger door. Um, but again, it is a fair few years old now. It's an 06, so it's what, 16 years old. There's a mark on your, on, your, on your passenger wing there and there's a mark on the paint where there's been a bit of bird poo left. Um, but this front arch again is nice, just like the other side. Bonnet, you've got a couple of little scratches here and there from a cat or something, I'm guessing. And there's another two there. Do with a good polish, there's a couple of swirls and things in that, but nothing nothing too major. They have put the uh, chrome fog light surrounds on as well. Front parking sensors, they do work. Have a look at the interior. So like I say, black exterior, cream interior with a dark wood. Uh, a little bit of wear on the door card here. It could do with a good clean. The seat overall for the mileage, I mean, it's done 100 and, 158,000 miles. 
seat's actually worn really well. Very little wear to the bolster. It's mainly sort of discoloration from some, some someone wearing jeans or something. It might clean, it might want to recolor, but actually it's not that bad. Steering wheel's held up really well. It's got the, the heated steering wheel, which is, which is always nice. Electric adjusting, which does work. As you can see. So on this side, nice clean door card. Rear seats are pretty good on both sides, especially for the mileage. Headlining doesn't seem to be sagging at all either, which is good. Backs of the seats are nice and clean. They are heated rears in the in, in, the, in the Vogue as well. Under here is all nice and tidy, just what you'd want to see. Have a look in the boot. So it does still have its load cover. Um, I did notice this strap is snapped. They just snap from in there. The other side's fine. Uh, it does come with a removable Westphalia tow bar, which is there. You've got your full size spare and everything in there. Toolkit. Again, this door card's fine. No damage to the backs of the seats. This seat's just the same as the other side, really. There's a couple of marks that are worth pointing out on the headlining, but it isn't sagging. It could do with a good clean, basically. And then the passenger seat, electric adjusting. Nice and clean, nice and tidy. Really low wear on that seat for the mileage. Like I say, heated seats, dual climate, all that sort of stuff. Cruise control. Uh, sat nav as well. Have a look under the bonnet. There you go, so it's 3 litre TD6, this is BMW 6 cylinder, same as you'd find in an X5 or a 530D. It's a couple of service stamps on there, 140. 150 but again we'll detail all that in the description for you everything looks to be clean enough in here around the strut tops and everything's good it's not missing any of its sort of panels or boxing or anything like that no nasty smells or any drops of oil or anything underneath it when i moved it this morning started up go like i say that suspension hasn't been dropping overnight i haven't come in and found it leaning over to one side or sagging in either way it's not needed jump started or anything like that either which is always rare for a range rover so there you go 2006 td6